Hi everyone, this is a quick video to introduce my control cabinet. Invite a bit of criticism from um, the guys on the MyCNC UK forum before I go too far. Um, this is um, a second hand uh, back plate that came as part of this rather enormous second hand control box. If I just open it up. Despite being second hand, it's in good nick. It has a big cutout obviously on the front there. Um, there's a cutout on the top and a cutout there with the ground lead uh, behind. And there was one of the gland plates has got cutouts in it. Um, but I've managed to source another gland plate exactly the same. So that will repair that. And then I think I can probably make reasonably good use of these and if not just uh, cover them up. Um, got a couple of vents with filters on the side and then the other handy thing is uh, having this rotary switch which connects back to this guy here. The other really useful thing that was in there um, was there's a couple of um, a couple of fuse holders which are handy. Um, some bits of din rail which again Handy. Um, but the, probably the uh, the most useful is um, this cable tidy stuff, um, which you seem to only be able to buy in massive quantities. So it ends up being really expensive. So I think I've probably got just about enough um, by kind of rearranging it and I've just cut down a couple of bits. I've got a couple of little bits left over, um, and it's not been too badly mashed. So um, oh, and, um, there's a few. Um, terminal blocks as well which is excellent right so the plan is um, I'm sort of fixed as to where the rotary switch goes because that was already there um, so that's kind of set this the position of this rail um, but everything else has been pretty well up for grabs but the plan is to take mains power up through this this side um, and then into this which is going to be all about power distribution in the middle um, so mains into the into the fuse here then through the rotary switch and then into these terminal blocks which is the mains um, distribution then and then there's then fuses for the VFD fuse for the 24 volt power supply which is up there um, and the miniature circuit breaker and contactor for the 80 volt power supply which is down here um, so mains comes in goes through these to the VFD which will sit up here. I haven't got that yet so it's represented by this bit of plywood. I was going to put the VFD outside of the box but considering I've got so much space in here it just seems sensible to have it all um, contained. Uh, 24 volt power supply so the mains input for that coming in here and then up and into the 24 volt power supply. Mains via the contactor then into the 80 volt power supply um, and then out this side into the 80 volt distribution and then via fuses then to the drives which are represented by these bits of MDF uh, and then finally this is 24 volt uh, power distribution so we've got mains 80 volt uh, 24 volt and there the 24 volt to keep it all separate is going to be mains up and into the bottom of the um, bottom of the 24 volt power supply and then out of the top round and then into here and um, so you've got positive negative and star ground um, and then from there you can then distribute up to the IPM down to the drives um, and then off to the switches and, and so on so that uh, oh, sorry I forgot to mention this is also uh, this is where the controller um, sits which is also a piece of wood at the moment but will be um, CS Labs IPM um, so that requires three bits of DIN rail one in the middle um, to hold it and then it has um, ribbon cables that then come off to um, connect to blocks uh, either side so this is the, the basic layout so I'm keeping mains over here there's a bit of 80 volt um, distribution in the middle um, and then 24 volt round on that side and then using the gland plates on the bottom will then pop out and head off to the uh, to the rest of the machine probably using XLR connectors so that 
I don't know, if we move house, or I want to move, I want to connect it to a different machine, there's some flexibility there without having to start unwiring everything. So, that's where it is. Um, if anybody's got any comments, I'll gladly hear. Thank you.